Today I'm gonna be reviewing new makeup products for you. They're both complexion products and I am so excited about it. I figured I would put both of them together just because they're both complexion products. I'll be giving you the claims, all the details on it, how it's applying, my thoughts on both. So today we're talking all about the new Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Concealer, as well as the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder in Peach Pie. I already did my foundation very lightly, and I did leave a little bit of room for my concealer under my eyes. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, you're more than welcome. So starting out first, obviously, we're gonna go in with the concealer. I'm obsessed when new concealers come out. New complexion products, honestly, like all new complexion products. This gets me so excited. I have the shades 2N1, 1C1, 1N0. I'm gonna leave all the shades on the screen right here. I feel like it just made sense to do the concealer and the powder together. They go hand in hand and I'll be able to tell you if I like the way that it works together as well as individually before I get to the powder. It looks like we have two shades that could be comparable to my skin tone and then this one right here looks like it could be more of a brightening shade. Probably going to go for this one which is 2N1. This is the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Serum Concealer. I missed out on that word. That's major, that's key. <laughs> Serum, which means it's going to be super hydrating. Love that. This is gonna retail for $33. 22 shade options available. It's supposed to be a natural finish with medium coverage. It is supposed to be hydrating, long wearing, non-comedogenic, and it is supposed to be waterproof, which is a big claim. Be a weightless serum infused multitasking concealer. It's supposed to brighten, hydrate, and smooth while providing medium coverage up to 16 hours with a natural finish. There's also green tea and cacao extract, an antioxidant rich formula, which is gonna help defend against environmental stress which that is great. I love when there's like skincare benefits inside my makeup products. I think it just makes it so much better. It looks more like skin. Another highlighted ingredient, which is hydrolipid matrix, which is supposed to deliver immediate time released hydration throughout the day. All of that sounds mm, incredible to me. They said they did send over three shades. I'm gonna swatch them for you on my hand. That's what the outer packaging looks like. Extremely sleek looking, love the colorway. This one is 2N1. Definitely looks like it'd be more my shade beautiful tone, it's light with neutral undertones, and I totally see that. I feel like I still wanna have that brightness and light under my eye with coverage, but also more neutral. Then we have 1N0, fair with warm neutral undertones. For more of a brightening effect, I probably would go for that as well. I have 1C1, it's fair with cool undertones. So if I wanted to really brighten, I would go for that one in with the 2N1. Now they definitely feel super hydrating even with the swatch, and they do feel like that serum kind of consistency, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel like it's getting stiff or drying right away. I did already open these up the other day. That's why it's on the little applicator area. But that is what the doe foot looks like. Super nice. I feel like it will cover right away, like a lot. Start applying right here in the inner area of my eye. Bring it up like so and right in here. I'm not gonna do too much. Going with the BK Beauty A506 brush to go ahead and blend that out. I'm just gonna do a little bit of patting, stippling motions, keeping it in this area. Oh, that tone is actually really good for me. It definitely blends in like butter. Okay. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more of that tone right here and I'll apply a bit more. I like to start out gradual, like I said, just so it's not a lot right away. Applying a little bit right here to neutralize that. But here is the area where I wanna like really focus on. Definitely feel like this is buildable because it looks literally like a serum. Like that looks like my skincare under my eyes, which is incredible. Keep on blending this in, again, using padding motions and looking upwards just so we can ensure to get right in here. As you can see the before, like a little bit purplish, a little discolored, but here just looks like super brightened, awake. So that is the concealer before and after. I don't even see it like creasing much right now, which is nice. I could add a bit more right in this area, this like hollow, if I wanted to. Let's see, let's add a bit more, kind of cover that area. You definitely don't need to go back in three times. I'm just starting out slow just to see if it is a buildable formula, if it's going to crease on me, and even bringing a bit more into my cheek area that looks super pretty. I really love the Flawless Fusion from Laura Mercier, so this is just like looking great. Definitely a weightless feel, totally like meeting up with the claims. I'm not seeing anything negative right now. It is definitely giving that medium coverage. Could I go up one shade? Yes, mixing with foundation, it plays really nicely. It looks nice. It doesn't look creasy. It doesn't like do anything funky. Like I definitely think that it is covering. It's so buttery and like silky smooth, almost has like a velvety kind of texture when you're applying and just blends and blurs into the skin, super pretty and effortless. Like, even just blending in that swatch, you can see literally blurs out my skin, but looking like skin and hydrating and it's gorgeous. So honestly, I could even apply more if I wanted. Totally spot on to a hydrating concealer, but giving the coverage, blurred effect and feeling like a serum. 
which is beautiful. I'm gonna do the other eye now really quick. Glides on my skin without any type of tug. Any excess that's left on the brush and just tap right here into the center. And look at that blur. Looks super flawless. I love it. Like I said, could I go up one shade? Of course. I'm gonna now go in with my bronzer, all of that cream products, and then I'll come back and we will talk about the powder from Huda. But this is looking like super super pretty honestly right now i feel like it checks off all the claims which is great of course at the very end of this video and in the description box will be like my final final thoughts so i have all of my cream products on except highlighter i will do that at the very end i kind of want to leave any highlighting products out of this just for right now so we can really focus on the skin focus on the new powder as well so now i'm going to use the new peach pie from huda beauty this is their easy bake setting powder absolutely adore the easy bake powder in cupcake originally today's video i wanted to sit down and do cupcake versus the new peach pie and do like a side by side compare them but i figured let's try it out with the concealer so just a little backstory i don't really bake on my under eyes i like to keep the products on there for just a little bit and then dust it away i do like to have it looking like a really airbrushed under eye all those areas that would typically crease i like to leave the powder on for a second with a powder puff and then brush it away with a brush this is the shade peach pie and this is a medium to tan with warm undertones so anytime you use a peach color whether it's a color corrector or a powder it's really going to help cancel out any discoloration so we're just going to take off the top right here i love that it comes like that and it's not a like sticky backing because those are a pain in the neck to get off <laughs> it's the little things right away that looks really nice the light coverage a very long wearing i'm telling you when i wear my other one it doesn't move very very beautiful in photos again it's not supposed to have any type of flashback it's supposed to absorb into the skin really nicely some ingredients that are highlighted is vitamin e a micronized powder which is going to help layer without any caking lightly pigmented silky powder to help bake and set and blur any fine lines lock in your makeup for 10 hours with an airbrushed finish we're gonna get right into this because i'm super excited look at that so beautiful it's just a very nice finely milled powder such a nice silky powder it is scented it smells just like her other powders which honestly i don't mind i actually really do enjoy the scent but if the fragrance does bother you you might not like it I'm gonna give my face a quick spritz even though the concealer is still hydrated love that just want to give a little bit of a quick spritz completely all done with both my doll was like hello love them so i'm gonna go in with my sephora powder puff to apply this that is what the peach pie powder looks like a bit of a swirl in the palm of my hand just to get any excess away that looks so pretty already let's do this no creasing under there as well packing on the powder oh my goodness mm -hmm. i like to bring it up like so wherever we put the concealer and a little bit down and i only use padding motions to apply it and that honestly seeps the entire powder into the skin no problem do we see that yes 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 i am all for that that looks super pretty i'm gonna finish off this whole section so you can really see what it looks like but that even like totally neutralized wait i actually am obsessed because you can see the concealer here which i was telling you earlier that i could go up in one shade in the laura mercier one stunning as is but i totally could go up one shade just to neutralize a bit more the powder literally does that for you gonna do a little bit down here kind of just pack the rest of my skin focusing on my smile line let that sit for a sec as well as over here that is gorgeous okay i love that if you are an oily a girly you're gonna love this if you haven't tried it yet you're going to hands down adore it it's 38 dollars. it is a pretty penny but i'm telling you you're not going to go through this nearly as fast as you think and I think it actually like works and does the trick. So I feel like it is worth it. I'm going to now dust the rest of it away using just a brush. I'm gonna like use some padding motions as well so it can really stay into the skin. Take any excess and blot it onto my forehead. I don't like when my forehead is completely matte. I like a little bit of shine to my skin. I like to make sure my under eyes are for sure mattify, not moving, you know, all of that and looking really airbrushed. But when it comes to the rest of the skin, I don't need it to be super, super airbrushed. So here is okay for it to just be like a light dusting. I think that looks so pretty. You don't see so much peach as you're applying, which is great because I really think that it's helping like neutralize as we are setting. I feel like this is gonna look really nice in photos as well. It mattifies so beautiful. I think it looks so great. So if you have dry skin, would you like this? I think yes, if you're keeping it underneath the eyes and you're hydrating prior. Skin prep, 
sprays in between that plays a crucial part in your makeup routine just because you don't have to bake using this product you can use a brush in a light amount to just set down any creases and set the actual makeup product down but you don't have to use this product on your entire skin and have a full mattified look if you are dry you can still totally get away with using this product if you want to just set those areas i think it works great so as far as the like peach shade goes i think it's gorgeous because it's not screaming peach so does that alter like my opinion of the laura mercier concealer no, just because the actual formulation of the concealer, I got the gist of. As far as shade goes, it can definitely help with that because it's neutralizing. So that, in a way, does change it a bit for the appearance, but my thoughts don't change on it. Like, I know the formulation is great, and that's when I do these reviews, I'm focusing on formulation, the actual, you know, blendability of it, the way it looks with my other products, not so much the tone and shade match. So that doesn't really change my opinion at all. Just letting you know because it did like kind of change the tone of the concealer underneath, which is okay in my opinion. It's a gorgeous tone and a gorgeous application. Like this looks super flawless to me. And if you're not on the pink trend and you don't want to set your under eyes with pink, but you want to have that semi brightened under eye, the peach powder is the way to go because it's doing both. It's giving you a bit of brightness, but it's also helping neutralize that area. Once I finish this, I'm going to go back in with that peach powder and kind of pinpoint in here. I totally feel like though it makes all the makeup products that I used before look so incredibly seamless. Just gonna take a little bit of that peach powder and apply it right here in a little stamping motion and into that deeper area. Magic. Super pretty. I am obsessed. And as you can see, it sucked up every single pore. <laughs> I feel like that says a lot, right? Um, I'm obsessed with both products, so definitely would say recommend. I really enjoy the new Laura Mercier a Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Serum Concealer. It was totally giving skincare, totally giving coverage, and it went on like butter. It looks like my skin, but better type of situation. Totally feels like a skincare moment, so I would really recommend this. I also don't even see any creasing now, even after setting it down. Love that. Usually it would crease on me within the first like 20 minutes of having it on, or literally right away before I even got to powder. So I don't notice that. I think it looks super, super flawless. If you love complexion products the way I love complexion products, and you like it to look like skin, hydrating, this checks off all the boxes. I would totally say to check it out. I have to try the new foundation because if it's anything like this, that's gonna look real good. Huda Beauty Peach Pie Powder just performed really well on the skin. I think it looks very airbrushed, very put together, very porcelain-like, but also not drying. Let me know down below if you guys wanna see a comparison in the side-by-side -side of the cupcake versus the peach one. Like I said, I will update you in the description box below if anything changes. Everything looks super seamless. So that's all I have to say on the new Laura Mercier concealers as well as the new Huda Beauty Peach Pie Powder. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like the style video. Let me know if you guys have picked up either one of the products or if you will and that is all i have for this video i will see you guys in my next one bye